Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Let's welcome Mr. Matovu from Busunju to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're a food science technologist. Yes, sir. And the first question we're going to ask you is this. Which of these words, which of these words means to move through air? Is it to cry, to style, to dry, or is it to fly? D, fly. Final answer? Final answer. D, of course, means you can either use an aircraft or a bird if you have wings. You can fly, that's correct, therefore. So you have 100,000 shillings. Let's go for question number two. And that question is worth 150,000 shillings to you. And the question is, for which of these chores can soap be used? Cooking, washing, ironing clothes, or is it D, laying the table? B, washing. B, washing. Final answer? Final answer. Okay, that earns you 150,000 shillings. We're now headed for 200,000 shillings with question number three. 13 steps away from your ultimate prize of 25 million shillings. All your lifelines are still intact. Okay, the question we're going to ask you is, what is the nationality of a person from Ghana? Is it a Ghanaian A? Or is it a Ghanaian B? Or is it a Grand Grian? Agrarian C? Or is it D, Jan? B, Ghanaian. Final answer. B, final answer. Ghanaian. B is the correct answer. That's 200,000 shillings for you. Well done. Question number four, and it's for 300,000 shillings. And the question is this. What time is 1340 hours on a 12-hour stopwatch? Is it A, 1.40 a.m.? Is it B, 1.40 p.m.? Is it C, 11.40 a.m.? Or is it D, 11.40 p.m.? B, 1.40 p.m. Final answer? Final answer. B, 1.40 p.m. is indeed the correct answer. You have 300,000 shillings. <laughs> and your question for question number five is this. How many countries are there in the East African community? How many countries are in the East African community? Is it A, 3, B, 4, C, 5, or is it D, 6? You still have the options to use your lifelines. You can either phone a friend, ask the audience or go 50-50. Do you know the East African countries? Oh, formula, formerly there were three, but it grew bigger. That's when it gets... Okay. Let me use 50-50. 50-50. Well, computer, take away two wrong options and leave us with one correct one and one wrong one. Which three were they initially? Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda. And you're saying that what has changed? Rwanda came on board. And uh, Burundi. So how many countries in the East African, are there in the East African community? C5. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Much over from Busunju. Three. 
would have been the wrong answer. Congratulations to you. You've done very well. 500,000 shillings. Yeah. You're getting somewhere now, aren't you? I am, I am. Okay. Let's play for question number six. Question number six, the question is, which sports is Tiger Woods associated with? Is it A, tennis, B, darts, C, golf, or is it D, football? C, golf, final answer. Haven't you heard that Tiger was good at darting? Uh, maybe that's a hobby. <laughs> What about scoring goals in football? Tiger, he can't kick a ball. <laughs> See, golf is the correct answer. Okay, he was the number one player for a very long time. We're going for one million shillings now, and that's question number seven. And the question is, what domestic animals have breeds called Zebu and Ankole? Is it A, pigs, B, cattle, C, goats, or is it D, sheep? B, cattle. Final answer. Out of our color codes. I'm from Buganda, but no. Even we we had primary school taught us about this. Well, the man from Busunju dropped to five hundred thousand shillings, or will he progress to one million shillings? The Zebu cattle, by the way, are very long-horned African cows and they are drought-resistant. And Ankole cattle are very common in East Africa and also in Uganda. President Museveni has quite a collection of them himself. So yeah, you're right. Congratulations to you. You have set one million shillings. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Okay, we're going to go for the next secure level and that is question number 10. And question number 10 comes with 3.5 million shillings. If anything happens from that now on, you still have 3.5 million shillings. Okay. The question is, why was the construction of the Uganda Railway delayed in 1898? Was it A, man-eating lions, B, lack of funds, C, cholera outbreak, or was it D, famine? A man eating lions. Are you sure? Because <clears throat> it's been a long road. It's been a while since I last did a history lesson, but I remember the lions in Kenya, somewhere in Kenya. What is your final answer? Final answer, a man eating lions. <clears throat> if you get this answer wrong, you'll drop to 500,000 shillings. If you ever get it right, You'll have secured 3.5 million shillings. What of Busunju? You're now guaranteed 3.5 million shillings because you've won it. Congratulations to you. Well done. Thank you. You got that answer right. And it was indeed A. The Man Eaters of South were famous. It was a book, movies, and stuff like that. And of course, they claimed the lives of many Indian workers. Okay? 
We're not going to question number 11. This is going to be 5 million shillings. Are you ready to play for 5 million shillings? I'm ready now. we are more than ready now. Which of these cities spans two continents? Is it A, Baku? B, Astana? C, Istanbul? Or is it D, Jerusalem? You may still ask the audience and you may still make a call and phone a friend. What's it going to be? I'm going to call a friend. You're going to call a friend. Which friend are you going to call? Philip Cheyenne. Okay. Philip Cheyenne. Why Philip? Philip is a knowledgeable man. Okay, so you think you'll know the answer to it. Mm. But just so you know, you have 30 seconds within which to get that assistance from him. And make sure you're clear so that he understands what you're saying, okay? Okay. All right, we'll try to get Philip on the line. Hello, Philip. Yes, hello. How are you? This is Alan from I'm Who Wants saying. to Be a Millionaire. Pardon? This is Alan Kasuja from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, okay. How are you? Very well, thank you. Now, we've got your friend in the hot seat. His name is Matovu. Okay. And Matovu is doing pretty well. He's now playing for five million shillings. Okay. And he promises to share his winnings with you. <laughs> 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 Do you trust him on that one? Okay, now Philip, what would like to do? He'd like you to help him answer the following question, and remember that you have thirty seconds within which to help him get the correct answer. Okay. Okay. Now the next voice you hear will be Philip. Now the next voice you hear will be Matovos. Okay. Uh, Philip, which of these cities spans two continents? You have yes. Baku, Istanbul, uh -huh. Astana, and Jerusalem. Istanbul is the answer. Okay. Thank you, Philip. Yes, we know that money. Istanbul, how sure are you? Yeah, 100%. All right, thank you. Uh. <laughs> it could be wrong. Philip, <laughs> you had his confidence, <laughs> and I believe in him. You do? Uh, uh, he's, he was a very knowledgeable man. Trust me. And I was also thinking Istanbul or Jerusalem, but why have you ignored the audience? Why haven't you? The audience will we come. Still have a they, are, they are they are close to me. They will share the joy of the twenty five million. <laughs> You really trust this Philip guy? I trust Philip. And, uh, and I was thinking along the same line, so. You realize that you'll still walk, walk away with 3.5 million shillings, whatever happened. But I'm not short sighted. <laughs> still focusing on the 25 million. Thank God for friends like Philip because you have five million shillings. Well done. Well done. Congratulations to you. The correct answer is indeed C. And Istanbul is divided by the Bosporus Strait, which is the border between Europe and Asia. Who wants to be a millionaire?